case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1995, a far-reaching case unfolded in the Minnesota Court of Appeals. It revealed that trespass can be deemed even without physical crossing of boundaries, as in the case of entering someone's private property without consent. This legal evolution was an outcome of Copeland v. Hubbard Broadcasting, Inc. The local homeowners, Greg and Betty Copeland, initiated the chain of events by filing a lawsuit against KSTP Television. The reason? KSTP had infiltrated their household privacy by filming inside their dwelling, all without their authorization. The saga took an added twist when the Copelands attempted to include claims aligning with invasion of privacy and violation of wiretapping laws. Their efforts, however, were met with judicial refusal. This turn of events sparked the court's inquiry into two complex considerations. First, could KSTP's actions truly be classified as trespass? Second, was the district court accurate in rejecting the Copelands' motion to add claims? With consent sidelined and the issue of physical boundaries in the mix, the judicial pursuit was positioned to possibly challenge the traditional definition of trespass. Although the student employed by KSTP secretly filmed inside their house during an investigative report on local veterinarians in 1993, the court found the Copelands lacking sufficient evidence for their wiretapping claims. Similarly, their privacy invasion contention failed to hold enough weight for recognition as an additional cause of action. In a moment of divide, Judge Lansing affirmed the district court's decision not to add these claims, favoring KSTP. Simultaneously, he moved to reverse the summary judgment on trespassing. Thus, while KSTP was granted summary judgment on the home invasion and wiretapping claims, it lost to the homeowners on the trespass accusation. Ultimately, the court chose to stand by its past decisions on misrepresentation claims and punitive damages, but reversed the standing decision on trespass, returning the case back down the legal pipeline. In essence, the homeowner's legal journey was imbued with partial victory and defeat, creating a suspenseful legal precedent. To sum up, KSTP was not able to completely evade the charges. While they secured victory with the wiretapping and privacy invasion claims, the trespass claim keeps their legal fate hanging in the balance. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.